Hello and welcome to the fifth video on our series on labor search frictions. In this video we're finally going to start going over the model and we generally call this the DMP model for Diamond, Mortensen and Pizarides, the people who pioneered this type of search models in economics. So let's first look at the basic setup. We're going to have a one period economy. Everything is going to happen within the same period. We're going to start with N working age consumers. So this is the same as in our definitions above. All the consumers are going to enter the economy out of the labor force. So at the beginning of the day, everybody's out of the labor force. The first decision that people are going to make is who wants to join the labor force. So Q agents will decide to go in and look for a job. And N minus Q agents will remain out of the labor force. And then after agents decide to join the labor force, they're going to search for a job and consumers find a job with a probability PC. PC because of consumers. PC is going to be taken as given by consumers, but we're going to find it in equilibrium. So in this sense, PC is like a price. Each individual consumer takes its value as given, but its value is going to be determined jointly by the participation decision of all the consumers. Now, on the other side of the market, there are going to be firms. So the number of firms is actually going to be endogenous. We don't know how many firms there are, but what's going to find, you know, what's going to determine that number of firms is going to be the number of vacancies that are created. So at the beginning of the period, there are no operating firms. There are no workers either, nothing exists. And then firms that want to operate are going to pose vacancies. And we're going to define by A, the number of vacancies, just as in the definitions in the previous video. Now, the same as for workers, Vacancies are going to be filled with a probability PF, which firms are going to take as given, and we're going to find in equilibrium. So to recap, it's only one period. At the beginning of the period, nobody has a job, and no firms have hired anyone. And the decision that consumers are going to take is whether or not they want to participate, whether they want to join the labor force. The decision that firms are going to make is whether or not they want to post a vacancy whether or not they want to join the labor market. In making that decision, they take the probability of finding a job or the probability of filling the vacancy as given. Now, the key difference here is that in equilibrium, the labor market need not clear. In fact, we're going to have unemployment. So some of the vacancies that are posted are not going to be filled. One minus P of those vacancies are not going to be filled. And 1 minus PC of the workers are not going to find a job. And so there is going to be unemployment in equilibrium. In the next video, we're going to look at what consumers are doing. So how are consumers taking that decision to participate or not?